All right, so I've got a rug tufting tutorial for you here. Uh, I got some tips going. We got the time lapse, and I've got some hours behind the wheel now, and I put in some experimentation, to say the least. Okay, uh, trying to see what works, what I can get away with, and I figured out some things along the way. So I'm going to go ahead and share them. Okay, uh, acrylic yarn is good. It's fine, actually. It's great. And, you know, you get it from Joanne, you get the cheapest stuff, go in there with the 40% off coupon and go to the cash register person. I promise you're not being annoying. Acrylic's a, the way to go. I mean, it's actually really vibrant. It's more vibrant than the, that uh, healthy natural wool stuff, okay? But you didn't hear that from me. Um, uh, you want to know something that's important? Scissors. You use scissors about just as much as you use the gun. Okay, especially if it's a loop pile gun. I mean, every time you're taking that thing out of the backing, you're snipping. So it would be good to get good scissors, okay? And I've bought a lot of them, and let's go over them real quick. These are called bonsai scissors. They got a cool shape. You slip all your digits in there, and you slide them down to your knuckles. And so that'll allow you to grab the handle of your tufting gun while keeping the scissors on your hand. So that's quick access to the snipping. If you're going in and out and you're making a lot of little lines at once with that loop pile gun and you need to snip, print, snip, print, you're all set, okay? These are sweet. And also they have all these pretty colors on them. It's beautiful. Okay, these are important. These are your main boys, okay? High mileage, high usage. You're going to do a majority of your snipping with these. I um, accidentally shoplifted these. These are great. They've served me well. You want big fabric scissors where you can fit all four fingers in and get all that leverage in because you're going to press down on them and snip like 800 times. And so you're going to get cramps. You're going to get sore. It's a lot of snipping depending on how many lines you do, I guess. So yeah, get some ride or dies like these. These are Ginger scissors. These are fancy pants, unnecessarily fancy and expensive. They're like 50 bucks. You may have seen them at Michael's. I think they usually keep uh, like a security guard in front of them or something. And you don't need to spend that much money, okay? If you do, buy it from their website, okay? Because the ones sold in Michael's are made in Italy. The ones made in Italy are knockoffs. They're not as good as the ones made in Germany which are on the official website, Ginger's site or whatever. So yeah, they work good, of course, but they're better suited as a status symbol, more like something you want to have fall out of your pocket on a date or something and be like, oh, I've dropped my Ginger scissors. And they, you know, sort of announce it and, and people can uh, look up to you for that. The reason, the real reason is these scissors, okay? Kai scissors, spelled K-A-I. People say these are better than Ginger, some people, and they're way cheaper. They're like 12 bucks or something. So these are the way to go. You get them on Amazon, bada bing, bada boom. So yeah, this piece was cool. I used a lot of colors, which was pretty tedious, but it's fun to look at. And um, if you do, if you want to buy it, let me know. You'd make my life. But as you can see here, it's a loop pile rug, which I think is a good for getting clean lines you can see the sort of nervous erratic nature at which i fill in shapes i fill in over here fill in over there it's very adhd but i think the key to getting clean lines is to do the outline of the shape first and then fill it in so yeah i had someone tell me that this face looks like how they feel on the inside and I thought, that's nice. That's a nice way to look at it. I guess it's good to have meaning in your art like that. Uh, that's sort of the whole idea of it, right? I mean, this is another important part of the process here is snipping off any extraneous nobules that uh, disturb your line quality and throw it off. So you just get your main boy scissors and go to town on it, clean it up, and then, uh, you know, get some tweezers or something and rearrange the loops. Get them in correct order. Oh, and this is cool. Uh, I forgot about this. This is the electric lint shaver. They're like 12 bucks on Amazon. 
And it's another way to clean up your lines. You just run it over the whole piece at the end. And um, you can see here that um, how perfectly my sweater fits my noodle arms. <laughs> looks like I'm wearing capris on my arms. So I'm glad that looks good. And yeah, you just run it over the piece. It gets rid of the lint and it makes it look a little bit better. All right. Uh, that's everything. Bye. Bye, bye, bye.